We are looking at a piece of bone china and you can see the translucent nature of this beautiful type of dinnerware. Next is a piece of jasperware made by Wedgwood and you can see the back stamp and close-ups of the design which is called sacrificial due to the depiction of various mythical figures. This picture is about a hundred years old. You may be at a yard sale looking around at China. Here's a few things to think about if you're trying to resell. Look for names like Spode, Wedgwood, Adderley, Beswick, Royal Albert, Rockingham, and Royal Dalton. The hardest and finest is Bone China, which was invented by Thomas Fry in 1848 and perfected by Josiah Spode using bones from the nearby London stockyards. The most valuable items are hand painted usually and in limited editions such as various figurines. One of the most important steps is to find any damage or hidden repairs on any of the pieces because anything that's not virtually perfect will have very little resale value. Crazing or fine cracks reduce the price also. Carry a good magnifying glass with a light. That should reveal most types of damage. If you have access to a darkened room before you buy something, a black light will pick up most repairs. In the end, it's just a gamble, but that dinner plate you pick up for a dollar might be worth ten. If you want to check out the value of something, drop by Good Stuff Consignments and we'll let you know what it might be worth. Thanks for listening.